Good evening. More on those Coca-Cola Cup games later in the programme. But first, welcome to Jenna Park on a big, big night in the history of Barry Town. The, their UEFA Cup story so far, well, they beat the Latvians, Dynaberg, but in the first leg of their tie against the Hungarians, Budapest Vashutis, they went down 3-1. So, all they had to do tonight was win by two. And OK, that may be asking a lot, but confidence in that Barry dressing room is oozing at the moment. No doubt there, they can do it. And bags of belief around the ground here at Jenna Park too. A near capacity crowd and they're all looking for something special from Barry tonight. Describing the action for us is David Smith. Thanks Steve, it's glory or bust for Barry Town. They've named an ultra attacking formation to try and secure the dream of a place in the first round proper. Instead of a five-man defence, they've named a forward-looking 4-4-2 formation. Fullbacks Phil Johnson and Gary Lloyd will get forward from the flanks. Darren Ryan plays in an advanced role on the left of midfield, with Chris Pike and Tony Bird carrying the attacking burden. And it's a big night for Pat Mountain. The reserve keeper gets his full European debut as number one Mark Ovendale was sent off in the first leg. Budapest believe it would be dangerous to try protecting their first leg win, yet they've dropped two attacking-minded players in Bondarenko and Jurasevic in favour of young defenders Adam Komloshi and Tibor Pomper, both of whom are 18 years old. And Barry will know to watch for Zoltan Baksegi, the 20-year-old scored Budapest's first goal just five minutes into the first leg. Our referee from Cyprus, Andreas Giorgio, getting the game underway. The Hungarians in the yellow strip, and the Dragons in the red, breathing fire, that's what they intend this evening. And if you're looking for omens, as we were entering the town this evening, ready for this game, there was a wonderful rainbow, and perhaps there will be a crock of gold at the end of this game for Barrytown, a place in the first round proper of the UEFA Cup, and all the big guns. Buxegi just laying the ball off to the Romanian, and he almost got it through to Stanici. Important game for Chris Pike on the ball. Vastly experienced player, now 34 years of age, and now trying to add his weight to the attack. Intercepted in midfield. Igreshi, part of the Olympic team for Hungary. Eros getting it forward. Buxegi, he was a danger right at the beginning of the first leg, and almost in this game as well. Has the name linked to the railways in Hungary. And the ball will be curled in by Ryan with that left foot of his. It's a dangerous looking ball, and unfortunately for French, he just couldn't connect. The left foot of Ryan, such a good tactic from that sort of position, and French got in but couldn't quite connect with the ball. Now it's the Hungarians breaking forward. York saw that particular danger. Intercepted well. Now O'Gorman down the right. Passes one as if he wasn't there at all. This is an excellent run. Now what about the quality of the cross? He might get another chance. O'Gorman back now to Johnson. Just flicks it over the top. Here's Ryan. Predominantly a left-sided player. So a corner for Barry and a chance to get back one of those goals. 0-0 on the night, 3-1 to Budapest on aggregate. And it's Ryan who will whip it in with the left foot. But the keeper is a bit creaky on crosses, but not on that particular occasion. Plenty of space here for Stanici. And he's seen the run on the right side by Buksegi. And there's a man in the middle as well, Igreshi's there. And the shot eventually does come in, but off the foot of Arush, and going well wide. A 
It's a ball over the top looking for O'Gorman, who's got there and gets it across. Pike couldn't connect. And Ryan now tries to challenge. Best chance of the game so far for Barry, and so unfortunate for Pike that he couldn't quite stretch out far enough. But it's no wonder that Pike was applauding the work done by O'Gorman. An excellent chance. Pike comes across to claim it. Good header. Bird now looking for O'Gorman. Bird's gone into the centre. Players queuing up. He got the shot, which was slightly deflected. And I think that made it slightly easier for Vague. Sometimes it can work against the keeper. On this occasion, it helped him. O'Gorman going for the shot. The slight deflection taking it closer to the goalkeeper. It's looking fairly comfortable for Budapest at the moment, but a goal really would change that. Pike knows it as he goes in, just nudged off the ball by Kamloshi. Poor defending there. They've got away with it. Stanichi turning again. That's a lovely ball. Buksegi cut inside again. This really is a problem for Barry. What a great tackle that came in from Gary Lloyd. Well, if Barry Town progressed this evening, one of the reasons will be because of this tackle. The first tackle from Lloyd was superb. Be nice to think that he planned that to get to Johnson. Now Pike. Good layoff and a good move by Ryan. Barnett looking for it and now looking for the shot. It's a good one as well. One of the best moves of the match. A flowing movement by Barry. Ryan seeing his manager outside of him and Barnett going for the shot and not far away. Pike gets his head to it, Bird going up for it, oh he hung in the air superbly, and again the keeper rather fortunate, Johnson though, still with a chance, turns his man, gets past him, and does him again, but unfortunately there was a covering player who gets it away, still the ball not out, the referee says it has been out, but this is the chance once again, and he really hung in the air an awful long time, Bird. Shows a tremendous amount of spring in the step there. So, not that many players to aim for for Budapest. But it was a good ball inside and the best chance of the match falling to Budapest. And Stanici on the far side perhaps should have scored and perhaps put this tie beyond doubt. It was Stanici with that little flick on who had that chance. Lloyd with a throw. He's going for the long one. Pike flicks it on. Fortunately, he couldn't get any real propulsion onto the ball to help his own team. Huggins. Lloyd. Ryan, Huggins outside of him, now going on the overlap and unlucky that he couldn't get it through, still whipped in, Bird, Pike, now O'Gorman with a shot and it's a great one. Well O'Gorman did really well on the far side, it was a snapshot as it had to be and he was ever so close to scoring. This really would have been a fantastic time to score just before half-time. The pressure would have been on the Hungarians to maintain that lead, but it really was a great effort. O'Gorman gets it in. Birds now made the run. He was being pulled back, and that has to be a penalty, and it is. Thirty seconds before half-time, and the chance that Barry Town have been looking for. And it was a foolhardy mistake. You can see how Bird's jersey was being pulled back. From Losi, the offender. And it will 
will be Pike who will set the ball up and what a time to score can he convert it all the pressure on the world on the shoulders of Chris Pike yeah! we have a tie on our hands on the stroke of half time Barrytown taking the lead they still trail on aggregate but we are set for an amazing second half he took it so confidently there was never a danger that they will get there and Barry Town lead 1-0 on the night thanks to Chris Pike and it was almost the last kick of the half a fantastic moment for Barry Town and everything to play for what a time to score and on the evidence of that first half performance Barry very capable of getting the result they want join us for the second half straight after the break